Let's talk about Clyde Edwards Hilaire then. Let's talk about it because there is high expectations. I believe his over under for rush yards tonight is 52 and a half yards, okay? Oh, over. <laughs> 100% over. I think so too because of the amount of weapons they have. They can't pack the box. The dude's going to potentially pop a 20, a yeah. 30, mm-hmm. and just out of nowhere, I think. And I don't know enough about him, and I don't know enough about rookie running backs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Time out. You don't know enough about him? No, I don't what think. You, what were you watching all last year? <laughs> what did you watch? I was Any watching. Any LSU game? No, I was watching the American. American Conference, okay, <laughs> a Thursday night football, American Conference specialty, which is back tonight. I believe Tulane, Miami's playing mm-hmm. the football tonight. Ooh. But I, Joey Burrow took a lot of the shine. Justin Jefferson took a lot of the shine. Clyde was unbelievable. But now he's the guy because Damian Williams says he's out. And with a light box, with a light box, it feels like the running back is in actually a very good position if you're a Kansas City. And, and then think about this, Pat. You know this also. It takes the defense a lot longer than the offense to, to get on one accord. So with the defense not having any preseason games to try to get on one accord, I feel like in the beginning of each season, first two or three games, defenses are not as good as as they're going to be down the line because it takes a a little while to get that cohesiveness. So I think tonight with no um, preseason games whatsoever for the defense to go out there and kind of, you know, get, get a makeshift look. They're going to be exposed tonight, I believe. I think it'll be a high-scoring game, and because of that reason, I think Clyde Edwards gets 100 yards right out the gate. Ooh. Right out the gate. Ooh. Wow. I remember that a couple years ago, there was another r- young running back that got the ball in opening night or primetime game, and he had like 700 yards. Now he just got paid in <laughs> Cleveland. But um, whenever you talk about a defense being on the same accord, let's dive into the analytics of that a little bit. So with Kansas City Chiefs, because there's so many weapons, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, McCole Hardman, Sammy Watkins, you name it. You have all these weapons that can get down the field. And Andy, Tyreek Hill, and Andy Reid has this offense where he does exploit that and he moves people down the field. They have to be in quite a deep shell. So they have to drop people out. So they're, the box that is in front of the offensive line is nowhere near as big as it could be if it was a running team. But with the limited amount of people that you have there, everybody has to be very disciplined in their gaps, has to be very disciplined in their gaps. And that's what you're talking about with on a court, because Whenever you have a light box, if one person decides to zig or is forced to zig and another person zags, that's an entire hole. And then the back end of that defense is so far exactly. down the field. I mean, there's a chance that Clyde Edwards Hilaire could really eat, like really, really eat tonight if he wanted to. Because you know you got to bring uh, two safeties back. You have to keep two safeties back with McCole and Tyree. So that's automatically going to give you a seven-man box. And then with all the, the, the things that Andy Reid does pre-snap, Someone is going to get confused. I, my offensive coordinator said something that stuck with me forever. And he's just like, you know, the defense, if you take an NFL game, average, what, 60, 70, 80 plays. The defense has to be right 70, 80 times. The offense just has to be right four or five times. Meaning if the defense is wrong one time, that's a bomb over the top. That's a big third down conversion. That's a big chunk game. The defense has to be right every single time because if not, that one time you're wrong and that offense is right, it's bombs over Baghdad. So I think the Chiefs have the ability with that offense to be right four, five, maybe six, seven times. <laughs> and the defense, I don't think you could be a, play a perfect game. Well, Look that- at the San Francisco 49ers. They played a perfect game, 60, 70 snaps, and then in the fourth quarter, they didn't play perfect snaps for four or five plays and – now we're Super Bowl champs. Well, that's that's the thing, though, about Patrick Mahomes saying that he learned how to read a defense is sometimes those defenses can miss or make a mistake in one of those, and your quarterback doesn't take advantage of it, right? And that's like those moments where you'll see wide receivers pissed off. You'll see a yeah, lot of hands yeah. up in the air. You'll see offensive coordinators on the sideline frustrated. You'll see everybody come to the sideline. Normally, I would be trotting on the field at that point to punt, and everybody's pissed. The crowd saw it. Yeah. And the quarterback missed it. But Patrick Mahomes, it seems like he will not miss a shot. He, he does not miss a shot that he gets. And I think his growth, which is only going to continue to happen, is the weapon that Andy Reid has. And I can't believe they got them all locked down for the next 12 years. It makes, <laughs> it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Brought the tight end back. They brought uh, Tyreek back. Well, they got him locked up for three years. You had the rookie coming off a rookie contract. Then you go get this kid, Clyde Edwards. I mean, and then they were able to also bring, don't forget, Sammy Watkins back. He could have probably went and got paid. They brought Demarcus Robinson, our fourth receiver. He came back and got paid. So I don't know how they're doing it. They got some mad scientists or some mad mathematicians, <laughs> uh, savants up in that damn uh, front office because I thought for sure our team would be broken up and guys would go run off and get paid.